Watkins out right, singled up with Burnett. Gradkowski, they blitz Burnett. Here's Gradkowski now, going to throw for the end zone, and it's caught! Touchdown! Raiders! Lewis Murphy in the back corner of the end zone with nine seconds to go! What's going on, Raider Nation and TTC? Um, first off, you saw that clip there. It's Lewis Murphy doing what he did last year. And uh, don't you just love Greg Papa? I mean, man, he makes the games on the radio so much more thrilling when you listen to him. Uh, but, yes, this week we are playing the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, it's definitely going to be a tough game going out to Heinz Field. Uh, I think the revenge factor is going to be huge on the Steelers. They remember what happened last year, and I know they're going to be hungry for a win. Uh, however, if you're going to base it off of momentum, they definitely uh, lost to the Patriots. They were... You know, Jeff Reed missed a short kick, and now he's not even on the team anymore. They signed that guy that was once on the Redskins and once on the Cowboys. but So now I think Suisem, I think that's how you pronounce his name. He's now the kicker on the Steelers. This team, they're still a very tough team regardless of uh, that loss last week to the Patriots. Uh, the Raiders, they're going to need to show their motivation and show some swagger that we've seen the last few games. If Rashard Mendenhall starts running over the, us, there's no excuse if we lose that because of Mendenhall. Uh, ben Roethlisberger is a much better passer, though, than Matt Castle. There's no denying that. Uh, hopefully the injuries, though, for the Raiders will get healthy. It's reported that Lewis Murphy and Zach Miller will be able to play. As of right now, when I'm filming this video, um, Nandi Asamoah is reported to be questionable. Uh, Rolando McClain and Tyvon Branch, I haven't heard on them yet. But I wish Chaz Shellens was healthy because, unfortunately, he's not. Uh, but once again, though, the Raiders are going to have to show some composure out there in a hostile uh, Heinz Field. Uh, Jason Campbell will be the starting quarterback. Bruce Gretkowski is healthy, but obviously you're going to go with a hot arm. You know, we're winning games. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Well, Jason Campbell pretty much fits that theory of keeping him in because he's got the better, the hot arm right now. But once again, as I've said in my previous videos, if he's ineffective in, say, the first half, in the second half, you might as well just put Gradkowski in. Uh, the secondary is going to need to step it up to stop guys like Wallace and Heinz Ward. Uh, and I was worried if Nam the Awesome was out for this game. That would mean Jeremy Ware and Chris Johnson, once again, they're going to have to step it up in the event that uh, in the event Nam the Awesome was out. Also, that goes same for Rolando McLean. You know, the front seven, like guys like Quentin Groves, Thomas Howard, definitely they have uh, stepped it up. Uh, when it comes to the linebacking crew, uh, you gotta also like how the front seven of also Tommy Kelly and Richard Seymour really anchoring as, as good defensive tackles. You also see Matt Shaughnessy. You know he leads the team in sacks, and he's not even the starter on, on the end. Uh, you know obviously that goes to uh, Lamar Houston pretty much starting on the ends. When it comes to the Raiders though, they can pass rush the Steelers. I don't think the offensive line for the Steelers just has as been as good as in the past. Uh, definitely the Steelers are vulnerable pass rush wise. You know, Pouncey I think has improved for them, but other than that though, they got to sack Roethlisberger and the blitzes. They've been very effective in blitzing the t uh, quarterbacks throughout the season. The Raiders are second in the league in sacks. On the offensive side, they got to use McFadden and Bush. You got to use them both. Uh, Hugh Jackson better not get all cute with that wildcat gimmick and uh, you know, all these silly trick plays. You know, I don't mind one or two in the game, but do not depend on the Wildcat. I don't want to see that. Just got to give it to Bush and McFadden and see if the run game can execute. Uh, the Steelers have one of the top run defenses in the nation, though, so I think they're number one as of right now. So we're going to have to learn to really step it up. And the offensive line, they're going to have to protect Campbell as well. Uh, the Steelers, Troy Polamalu is healthy for this game, unlike how he was last year, so going to need to watch out there. Uh, once again, though, if they can keep their composure and everybody is healthy, whether it's Awesome Wad, Zach Miller, I really see this this team being able to compete and win in Heinz Field. If, if they're all healthy and they keep that composure they've been having the last few games. If the injuries pile up, they might stomp over us. Maybe that, that revenge and anger factor of the Steelers losing last week, coupled by the loss last year with Lewis Murphy winning late, that's going to fire them up, and Mike Tomlin has those guys ready. So, once again, go Raiders. And quickly, a couple shout-outs in the description. 
Rowan Arks uh, is a Raider fan from Southern Cal. He talks about them. Forgot to give him a shout out. He's, he usually talks post game. So if you're an LA Raiders fan, especially, uh, you'd like talking to him. Also, check out Raider Mike the Realist. Uh, this guy pretty much makes highlight videos, win or lose. He'll he'll always have a highlight video for those of you who live way out of the state of California or far away or just couldn't see the game. The highlight package is made by Raider Mike. So check him out in the description. Also, uh, other shout out goes to Pet My Cat with those. He's a Saints fan, but he's a pretty cool guy. Uh, <laughs> likes cooking. He was a Brett Favre fan, but he's actually a Saints fan right now. So check him out as well in the description. Uh, pretty cool people here on YouTube. Unlike some of those Steeler fans who are, well, pedophiles, we'll just say. They're, <laughs> there's that one guy. You know who you are, and I know you're watching this, but what you were doing this off season, calling yourself the man, myth, legend, you're crazy. All right? That's all I got to say about you. I can't even say your name. So go Raiders. Let's let's upset those Steelers and easily get get to Ben Roethlisberger. We'll see you guys later.